now we come to a new concept called electric dipole okay as the name suggests as the name suggests a dipole must be having two of certain things right dipole so an electric dipole is two equal and opposite charges charges okay say plus q and minus q equal and opposite separated by a distance separated by a distance 2h separated by a distance 2a fine it is separated by a distance 2a so it is something like this so so here it is minus q this is another charge plus q and the the distance between them the distance between them is 2a okay the distance between them is 2a now obviously the total charge on the system is how much the total charge on the system is we know the the theorem of additivity of charges so it is minus q plus q which is equal to 0 so the net charge is 0 however the net field however the field the electric field due to this is not 0 the electric field due to a dipole is not zero fine why because say i am trying to find out my my electric field here then the distance from this place and the distance from this place they are not equal though the charges are equal the distances are not and the distance square appears in the denominator of the of the electric field formula because we know that this is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught this is a constant into q upon r square into r cap right so somehow somehow this if this is not 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 the same then what happens if this is not the same so the magnitudes differ okay and since the magnitudes differ they'll never sum up to zero fine that is one the second thing about the dipole is that that the that the midpoint between the charges is the center of the dipole the midpoint between the two charges two charges is called the center of dipole and all distances and all distances are measured from this center okay all distances 
are measured from this center. Fine. Now there is another thing which should be understood very carefully and that is the concept of the dipole moment. Okay. Dipole moment or it is also called an electric dipole moment. Okay. So, so we call it electric dipole moment. Why? Because there is also magnetic dipole moment. So, electric dipole moment is a vector. Is a vector directed from the negative charge from the negative charge to the positive charge it is a vector directed from the negative charge to the positive charge so that is the direction so the direction is something like this right this is the direction of the dipole moment from here to here this is how it is directed right and the magnitude is equal to and the magnitude is equal to is equal to the charge multiplied by the distance okay so so distance is 2a into q so this is the magnitude so so from the negative to the positive that is the that is the direction and the magnitude is equal to 2a q so the vector is completely defined right that is what we call a dipole moment. Now, at, at times you will feel, why should you be defining something like that in that weird direction from negative to positive? Why not positive to negative? Why like that? Why not perpendicular to the line joining the two charges? You will soon understand why that happens because it has to do with the electric field that it produces. Okay? It has to do with the electric field that produces and this term keeps on appearing when you try to find out the electric field due to a dipole. Okay, so that is the reason and, and you will find that the direction of the electric field for the axial thing is in the same direction as the dipole moment. Now that is the reason why we define it to be this. So, so, so it is not some arbitrariness. There is no arbitrariness involved with this and, and it is it's, not being just done for fun right fine now what happens <coughs> now what happens at large distances from the dipole at large distances from the dipole the field actually falls off to zero, falls off to zero. However, even when you are say in the vicinity of it, the field falls off as one by r cube instead of one by r square as for a single charge. At, at, at very large distances, right? But at large distances, but at large distances. And, and, and what is the large distance? What do I call as large distance? When R is very, very greater than A. Okay? When R is very, very greater than the distance between the dipoles. The distance between the dipoles is 2a, sorry. So when r is, and r is what? It is the distance. 
okay so the distance from the dipole should be very very larger than 2a that is the distance the, the distance from the dipole and how do I take the distances for example this point do I take the distance from here or here no if, if you if you're talking about what is the distance of this point from the dipole the distance is defined as this we had earlier said all distances are measured from the center so if this is very very larger than 2a that is the distance between the dipoles then the field falls off as the field due to the dipole right field due to the dipole falls off as 1 upon r cube instead of 1 upon r square as in case of a single charge okay now we go ahead to find out the the field due to a dipole in the axial as well as on the line on the line that is perpendicular bisector of the line joining the two dipoles that is called the equatorial line 